Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Record of Agris War. In the last episode, we marched into Gradamus and we stopped Melchior and King Herzfeld. We made them come back to their senses. They also informed us that the Dark Knight is here at the Castro Mountains. We need to put a stop to him before he starts consuming the entire continent into darkness. So, let's go ahead and start this event right here at the Castro Mountains. There he is. The Dark Knight! My battle began after our first meeting. My life was taken. Gave my soul so I could live again. No longer hold any regret. But I shall not give up this life again until I have destroyed you, the root of evil. I shall fulfill my destiny here. We shall settle everything here and now. Two arms! After that little speech here, <laughs> you can kind of feel the, the ambition to destroy this evil incarnate that Leo is really, really, really wanting to destroy really bad. Anyways, let's look at the Dark Knight's stats. This is different than when we... Oh god, he's level 25. Oh gosh, and Leo's only <laughs> character is only like level 20. Good lord, that's a big jump right there, folks. This is the, well, then again, they kind of have to make him that high, because, well, as you can see, there's no other enemies. There's no other enemies accompanying him. It's just him. It's just him. <laughs> Anyways, this is the Dark Knight, level 25. He has a bone claw. Oh, my gosh. You would think that, like, a formidable enemy such as him, he would have a better weapon than this. Gosh. Anyways, this is the Dark Knight's stats here. He's got Anticipation, blocks your counterattacks against him, or of Leadership. After 100 SP is accumulated, increases accuracy and invasion rate within the extended area by 30%. Total Resistance, increases resistance to all status and ailments. That's really good. Impulse Wave, emits compressed spirit that flows through the body, body towards the enemy. Hellish, Hellfire Slash! Secret Gurg technique. Oh my gosh, that's actually a big spoiler because we're not supposed to know what. <laughs> okay, slash the targets with a sword enhanced, enchanted with Hellfire. Um, as you can see his stats, I, this is something I've noticed. I haven't been doing. Um, the stats up there. He's got 784 attack, which honestly, at this point, he, that's really high if you're playing, you know, normal. What? like normal people would, and not have all this DLC stuff that you have to download, like me. Um, normal, normally when you play this game normal, I don't know how many times I'm going to say normal, um, he is going to have, 784 is going to be really high. And his magic's 540, his defense is 202 and everything. You can kind of see it there. But yeah, he is a formidable force to be reckoned with. So let's go ahead and start, you know, Forming up a formation around Leo so we can pretty much take him out in one fell swoop. Not even give him a chance to do anything. <laughs> because, well, last time, the last couple times we fought him, we couldn't win! This is the only time that you can actually fight him and, well, kinda win. <laughs> so, let's move here and then let's take out this bastard. One fell swoop. So, come here and take it. The ledge. Power attack. Uh, Sonic wave. No, I'll just go double edge. I don't care. Rush, trick hit. Actually, I'm gonna say trick hit. Where is Ellis? There she is. Trick hit there. I'm gonna take Ascension. Combine a black mist and make holy mist. Um, make a broken hit. 
Eh, let's just throw in an impulse. And... Let's just go fire. Leo has one... Oh, he can't do it. Another attack. Okay. I think everybody's all ready, ready, set, and go. I don't know if I told you guys this, but if you make a combination attack like this, with six, with all your characters, you get a trophy. I think I might have said that a while ago. But anyways, let's go ahead and start this. As you can see, his defense is actually pretty high. Normally, Snatch would do a lot of freaking damage. But, as you can see, it's kind of really bringing it down. He's he's almost dead. Yeah, I stand corrected. He is dead. <laughs> Vanish trick. Boom! 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 Holy mist. It's broken. He is broke. Yep. Douche. 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 Let's see if we can actually overkill this guy. I think we. I think we might be able to. Boom. Yep. He's dead. He's overkilled. Douche. Impulse. Boom. <laughs> and fire. <laughs> Kind of way, way to end that. And we stole from the Dark Knight, we dar uh, Darkness Element. We took down, we got the Zen Bato. And we got a max HP up plus. That'll come in handy later. <laughs> Anyways, we got a rank S. We get 200% experience point. That is a lot of experience points coming our way. We got an attribute up. Wow. I didn't realize that. Anyways, holy cow. That was a... That was a grab ton of experience points, folks. Okay. Increase the luck there. Um, luck. Strength. Uh, Furia, we need to increase your intelligence a bit. Actually, I'll take that back. Increase the luck by one. Zero, so increase your strength. And you got the willpower block magic. Which we've seen that. It increases the magic defense. Did we do it? I think Leo did it. Destroyed him. It, is it over? He may have the strength of a god. Nothing could, could survive a fall from this height. Leonhardt, you have one more destiny to fulfill on this continent. Do you know what it is? Yes, I return my life to you. No, you must do one more thing before that. I hope you have not forgotten. get into the what that promise is here in a second. I think I'm brought back to the world map. Yep. The last thing we need to do is is up here. At Lucrelia's uh, pillar here. Um, I'm gonna save that to a separate episode bec uh, because, well, this is the closing thing for every generation and honestly I wanted that to be its episode of its own. Let's go over here to these events. Um, these are the last uh, both of these are CG cutscene events, and we'll be able to unlock us more CG by doing this. Um, as of right now, like I said, the best thing, I don't know if I ever really mentioned this, but in order to get to true end, um, all the, every generation you have, total, you have to have your turn total up to 500 turns. Under 500 turns. Um, so that means you have a limit for each generation about 100 turns. 
uh, we're pretty much done with this generation. After the a, after we go to that event, the generation's over, and we'll proceed to the second one. So pretty much get everything you need to get done now, and <laughs> come back before turn 100, and then you're good. So let's go over to Foothill Town and see what this event is. Elaine, who does not normally partake partake of alcohol, has become slightly drunk. Oh god. <laughs> Having grown rather warm, she perhaps because of the alcohol, she decides to remove her armor in hopes of cooling off, and is now wearing nothing but a simple dress. <laughs> well this feels nice. Eh, already? Gosh, drunk Elaine. It is still so early. The night is young, yes? <laughs> well, I am as well. In this case, I shall do this. There! This is much cooler. <laughs> oh boy. Drunk people. Drunk people. Drunk people. Anyways, after that, that's pretty much there. Um, there is another event all the way over here. Actually, there's two events, from the looks of it. Um, if you come over here to Dodome, and move here. Hey, you're travelers, right? To the east of Alfheim lies the holy island of Aaron, where the Bracelet of the Covenant was kept. That island is usually protected by a spiritual barrier to seal it. It is some, some time ago that I've heard rumors that the bracelet was stolen. Would you mind not checking it out? <laughs> and pretty much what that did was it unlocked a quest all the way over here. The Holy Island of Aaron. We, uh, we can go and check it out. I'm going to go check, check it out before the the episode's over, because we need to get everything done before the generation's over. And you come over here to Calchris. Let's go here and look up. Yes. Ellis, while mature in many ways, is still young. When she sees something new while visiting a town, she immediately asks for it. What follows is the story of a spoiled child who got what she wanted. <laughs> what is she doing? He's licking something. <laughs> hmm? Ah, so sticky. Now my clothes are dirty. Gross. But this ice cream is quite good. Please buy me another. <laughs> Gosh, freaking kids getting all stick you know I was at, okay when I was at work today we had somebody who had an ice cream too and well it was just plain nasty like I got all over the tax forms and everything it was nasty um, in case you guys were wondering I work at a tax consulting place over um, I work at Liberty Tax um, you guys probably know the, the place um, probably because you guys seen the dancing statues out front, like, getting people to get their taxes done and whatnot. And, well, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go back real quick. What I'm doing right now, before the episode's over, I'm going to check out this island over here. The, the, the island of Aaron. The holy island of Aaron that, um, the guy was telling us about. These, the, the... You can come and do these quests. Um, they're they're pretty much nothing here except going around and trying to get some treasure chests that you have not opened yet. Um, so pretty much, if you want to go ahead and take take control of that, I would suggest you go do these. I don't believe I don't know if this is a DLC dungeon. I honestly don't know if this is a DLC dungeon. I think this might be. Uh, this might be one of the dungeons that I unlocked when I got the DLC for, so. Um, let's go ahead and explore over here. I'm surprised I haven't run into any battles yet. I thought for a second there we got ran into a battle. I was like, oh god. I hate my own words. Okay, what's this one? A flare barrel. 
flare barrel. I think that's a gun. Um, in my practice file, I did not do this quest, so this is all blind. Jump. 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 I, I just didn't do this because I thought, because at the in my practice file, <laughs> I was kind of far behind in turns. I was kind of like taking my sweet ass time and everything, and like I said, I am really surprised I haven't ran into any battles yet. Of course I say that now and I'll probably run into a battle. Just watch. Or not. Continue to not surprise me with random encounters. This must be the, the like I said, like the guy said, this must be where the bracelet of the covenant was held. Oh my god, there's four chests. We got an ice seal sword. A kakoki, uh, kakaki by one. I didn't need to see what these are anymore. Air break. And a Gaia Claw. I think that's it. And I think this is the inner chamber. I guess now we have to just go back. We can't... Then we have to just go back here. I'm sorry, folks. Um, well... <laughs> that battle, I'm kind of glad I came here now. <laughs> The reason why is because, well, that battle I just did had two Jumbo Cocks. You remember the first boss? Yeah, they, they're common enemies here. And honestly, I'm really glad I came here because this is honestly really good level grinding. Because honestly, I gained like almost two levels out of that battle. So that is really, really, really good. Uh, this is actually, I would really suggest if you have this downloaded, if it is a DLC, uh, I'm, I'm honestly, this, I think this, it may be a DLC, but if you, th if you need level grinding, this is the perfect place to go. Honestly, from the looks of it. But I'm kind of glad that I keep that come here now. Before the episode's over. Let's go and see what's over here. Okay. All right. Let's see what I was. I thought that went to the back of the world map. Leg, slow down! Oh my God! <laughs> Freaking slow down! Let's see what's over here. A gospel times one. Let me see what these items do. A, gla a glaive time times one. Really, nothing here. Is that pretty much it? Every here, everything here. Oh my God! Slow down. It's like when I come to this part right here, it just slows down. I'm kind of really tedious about this. As I was saying, <laughs> I think we pretty much cleared out this area. Uh, that battle, though, it really was that... I think it might have been because of that room was special. I think it might have been because of that, because that room was honestly really different than all the others. That room spawned two jumbo cocks. Those enemies I just killed just now, they or they were just regular enemies I've been fighting. Um, so I think that I might be wrong on the whole idea. And I just ran into one. Well, excuse me, random in battle. Okay, so I'm kind of glad that we got that done. So let's go ahead and head back, because I honestly think that's what the games want me to do right now. After I clear it, clear it out, I think just they just want me to leave. Because... I think that's all that this dungeon has to offer, is just bad. Also, I need to mention something. <laughs> if you guys haven't noticed, when we're in like little situations like this, where I'm running around and whatnot, my party does not get healed after every battle. Like, you know, we all have been diverse every battle we do. Uh, when you're in exploration mo mode, you cannot heal. You do not heal after every battle. You have to heal on your own. You have to use, go into menu and use healing and whatnot. Anyways, I'm kind of glad we got that done, because we got a bunch of good stuff here. Uh, anyways, I think, honestly, this is where I'm going to stop the episode for right now. So, in the next episode, actually, let's go check down here real quick to see if there is any other event that didn't unlock. I don't think so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Record of Aggers War, 
we are going to end the generation by going and doing this event right here. Okay, Leo, this way. No, this way. All right. Can you stop? There we go. <laughs> so I will see you guys in the next episode.